I had a whole lovely plan and I'm throwing it out because we have this enormous deal, Morgan Stanley uh, buying E-Trade for $13 billion. Uh, David, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I uh, spent a good portion of my career at Morgan Stanley. I know the firm very well, have some of my closest friends there. And, and I can tell you it is a bit of a surprise. I think that um, Gorman is quite a deal maker, and, and this is not exactly when he got to like steal Smith Barney out of Citigroup at the bottom of the financial crisis. They spent about $2.7 billion for that unbelievably robust franchise, and now they're spending five or six times that on E-Trade, which used to run Super Bowl commercials with babies throwing money around. I mean, mm -hmm. it is so off-brand for the white shoe investment bank Morgan Stanley. I'm just stunned. Where they get like zero fees and a race to zero fees uh, to the bottom. But worse than that, because that speaks to an economic problem, sure. I get it, maybe that's why the stock's down 3.5%. But what I would speak to, Alex, I'm, I'm highly confident in my view here, is the cultural problem. It, mm. Is that the clients of E-Trade are not looking for advice. So even apart from the fact they don't pay for trades, they're not looking to have intermediaries that are there to provide wealth management. This, the, the spectrum of the marketplace that is willing to pay for a more private level of asset management and financial planning is at a higher net worth level than where E-Trade is. So I think this is going to be a very diff difficult cultural merger for them.